Wa'ida Sultan, Sultana Mother, was the title held by the mother of a ruling sultan of the Ottoman Empire. The Ottomans first formally used the title in the 16th century as an epithet of Hafsa Sultan, died 1534, mother of Sultan Suleiman I, 1520 1566, superseding the previous epithets of Wa'ida Hatun, Lady Mother, or the Naker of the Pearl of the Sultanate. Normally, the living mother of a reigning sultan held this title. Those mothers who died before their son's accession to the throne never received the title of Wawida Sultan. In special cases sisters, grandmothers and stepmothers of a reigning sultan assumed the title and all the functions Walida Sultan. Sultan, Sultan, is an Arabic word originally meaning authority or dominion. By the beginning of the 16th century, this title, carried by both men and women of the Ottoman dynasty, was replacing other titles by which prominent members of the imperial family had been known, notably Hatun for women and Bey for men. Consequently, the title Walida Hatun, title for living mother of reigning Ottoman sultan before 16th century, also turned into Walida Sultan. This usage underlines the Ottoman conception of sovereign power as family prerogative. Western tradition knows the Ottoman ruler as sultan, but the Ottomans themselves used Padishah, Emperor, or Hunker to refer to their ruler. The Emperor's formal title consisted of Sultan together with Khan, for example, Sultan Suleiman Khan. In formal address, the Sultan's children were also entitled Sultan, with Imperial Princes, Sezade, carrying the title before their given name, with Imperial Princesses carrying it after, for example, Sezade Sultan Mermd and Marima Sultan were the son and daughter of Suleiman the Magnificent. Like imperial princesses, the living mother and main consort of reigning sultans also carried the title after their given names, for example, Hafsa Sultan, Suleiman's mother and first Walida Sultan, and Haram Sultan, Suleiman's chief consort and first Haseki Sultan. The evolving usage of this title reflected power shifts among imperial women, especially between the Sultanate of Women, as the position of main consort eroded over the course of 17th century, the main consort lost the title Sultan, which replaced by Caden, a title related to the earlier cartoon. Henceforth, the mother of the reigning Sultan was the only person of non-imperial blood to carry the title Sultan. Walida Sultan was, in most cases, the most important position in the Ottoman Empire after the Sultan himself. As the mother to the sultan, by Islamic tradition, a mother's right is God's right, the Walida sultan would have a significant influence on the affairs of the empire. She had great power in the court and her own rooms, always adjacent to her sons, and state staff. The Walida sultan had quarters within the new palace, where the sultan himself resided, beginning in the 16th century. As the Valid sultan, sultana mother, who had direct and intimate access to the sultan's person, often influenced government decisions bypassing the imperial council and the grand vizier altogether or the grill-covered window from which the sultan or walida sultan could observe council meetings. This left her at the heart of the political ongoings and machinations of the Ottoman Empire. Walida sultan also traditionally had access to considerable economic resources and often funded major architectural projects, such as the Attic Walida Mosque complex in Istanbul. Many Valid sultans undertook massive philanthropic endeavors and buildings, as this was seen as one of the main ways to demonstrate influence and wealth. Walid sultans were also conveniently one of the few people within the empire with the station and means to embark on these expensive projects. Nabani sultan's daily stipend as Walid sultan to her son, Murad III, was 2000 aspis, an extraordinary sum for the time, which revealed the highly influential position Walida sultans held at court. The Walida Sultan also maintained special privileges that other harem members could not participate in. A Walida Sultan was not subject to sole seclusion within the confines of the palace. She had mobility outside of the harem, sometimes through ceremonial visibility to the public or veiled meetings with government officials and diplomats. Additionally, the Valid Sultan spearheaded one of the most crucial elements of diplomacy within the Ottoman Empire's court, marriages of royal princesses. The most powerful and influential Valid sultans had multiple daughters, with whom they forged crucial alliances through by marriage. During the 17th century, in a period known as the Sultanate of Women, 
a series of incompetent or child sultans raised the role of the Walida Sultan to new heights. Various valid sultans acted as regents for their sons, assuming the vast power and influence the position entailed. The most powerful and well-known of all valid sultans in the history of the Ottoman Empire were Nurbanu Sultan, Safiya Sultan, Khosam Sultan, and Turhan Sultan. Nurbanu Sultan became the first of the great Wawida sultans during the 16th century, as Haseki and legal wife to Sultan Selim II. Nurbanu's influential career as Valide Sultan established the precedent of Valide Sultan maintaining more power than her nearest harem rival, the Haseki, or favorite concubine of the reigning Sultan. The following influential Valide Sultans, Safiya Sultan, Khosam Sultan, and Turhan Sultan, maintained this precedent and occupied positions of extreme power within the Ottoman imperial court. These positions helped them solidify their own power within the imperial court and these diplomatic tensions on a broader, international scale. The title of Bayak Walida Sultan, Senior Walida Sultan, or Buyukon Sultan, Grandmother Sultana, was created by Khosam Sultan and officially used only by her during the reign of her grandson Mermd IV, thus limiting the power of Turhan Sultan who was deemed too young to fulfill the title of Walida Sultan. She was never called Bayak Walida Sultan officially, but she lived during the reign of her two grandsons, Ahmed and Mustafa, and the reign of her great-grandson, Osman, the 22nd of December, 1603, her death after 1619 Ahmed I, grandson. Mustafa I, grandson, Osman II, great-grandson, Khosam Sultan the 2nd of September, 1651 also known as Visage of the Moon was Haseki Sultan of the Ottoman Empire as the chief consort and legal wife of the Ottoman Sultan Ahmed I, Wawida Sultan as the mother of Sultans Murad IV and Ibrahim, and Bayak, Lit. Elder, Valide Sultan as the grandmother of Sultan Mermd IV. She became one of the most powerful and influential women in Ottoman history, as well as a central figure during the period known as the Sultanate of Women. Most harem women who were slaves were never formally married to the sultans. Nevertheless, their children were considered fully legitimate under Islamic law if recognized by the father. Walida Sultan was the most powerful woman in the imperial harem and was most influential ladies in the Ottoman Empire. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more videos.